que bajo la luz de este mismo sol o de cualquier otro más allá de los confines de nuestra galaxia existieron humanos que pudieron ser los antepasados de los egipcios o de los toltecas o de los mayas que pudieron ser los arquitectos de las grandes pirámides o de la perdida civilización de Lemuria o de la Atlántida y hay quien cree que aún hoy pueden existir hermanos del hombre que siguen luchando por su supervivencia allá lejos, muy lejos entre las estrellas Galáctica, estrella de combate. Estamos ahora con el señor Hef Sheverson Jr. y él es el que ha sido Boomer en Galáctica y tenemos unas pocas palabras. How are you doing? It's a pleasure to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet you and welcome to America, my friend. Thank you, thank you so much. We will, we are big fans of Galáctica. We will never forget Galáctica. Why you think it's so important in like the minds of like generations like mine? Why it was so important back then? Well, I have to tell you, it's an It always baffles me that the original Galactica, a show that ran for one season 32 years ago, is still very popular around the world 32 years later. We only ran one season. I think that there was something about the formula of the storytelling. Uh, you knew immediately who the bad guys were, you knew who the good people were. And there's something about the, the, the story around the world. People understand what it's like for the human race itself to be under attack. And it, it has drawn people from all cultures, all countries, all religions to our show. It amazes me. Uh, me too, me too. I, I still love, you know, each time that I watch it, I still love it. And I imagine, like you, how you feel like with the public coming and telling you things about the show, making you like feeling like watching with the family and everything. How, how do you feel this encounter with the people? I feel very comfortable. I, I have to tell you, it, 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 uh, it amazes me after all these years that, let me tell you a quick story. I run into people who were children in 1978 when the show was first premiered, who are now adults. And they tell me stories about how Battlestar Galactica influenced them in certain ways, be it in uh, getting involved in science, uh, getting involved in uh, medicine, uh, getting involved in engineering. Uh, I've even had a couple of fighter pilots for our United States Air Force, our, uh, our United States Navy and Marine Corps come to me and say they were inspired by watching our show to do what they're doing today. So I, I, I never get tired of hearing that. It, it's so it's pleasing as a man, it's pleasing as an actor to hear people come to me and tell me the wonderful things that, uh, that they have uh, experienced in their lives as a direct result of science fiction and Battlestar Galactica in particular. That's, that's amazing. That's, I think, something that you treasure in your heart forever. Oh, it's such a pleasure. And it, 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 uh, it, 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 it's uh, enhanced by the people who, have, uh, who grew up on Battlestar Galactica, the original, who have introduced it to their children. There was one case where a, uh, a grandmother, an adult son, and a very small grandson came to a convention. And the little boy, who may have been six or seven years old, was wearing one of the uh, Colonial Warrior battle jackets, okay, oh, wow. that were marketed uh, when our show uh, was, was running in prime time. 
and I heard the story from the grandmother and the son that the son had gotten this battle jacket when he was seven years old from his mother and now they have passed it on to the grandson so he's a Galactica fan and he wears his father's original Battlestar Galactica jacket so I never get tired of stories like that. No, I can't imagine. I know you are busy, but I don't want to take too much of your time. Fine. You would like to say something in Spanish. I know you speak oh, a little bit. God. Like a goodbye to Teleira TV. Um, <laughs> saludos. <laughs> saludos. Uh, Argentina. Argentina. Con mucho gusto. En bello para todos. How did I do? Excellent. Thank you so much. Please, I'm, I'm sorry. Michael. I'll study. I'll study. <laughs> <laughs> that was excellent. Thank, Thank you, you so much, much for your time. Thank it was you a so pleasure much. to meet you. God bless you. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Thank you.